Hello everybody, today is Friday, June 19th, 2020, 6.47 p.m. It is 75 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 24 Celsius. I'm at the intersection of 3rd Avenue and 9th Street. Right now, New York City Sanitation, emptying out a garbage can. Today I'm going to be doing a walk in the East Village. I'll start with St. Mark's Place. New York City right now is on the phase one reopening of the economy from COVID-19. The businesses allowed to open right now are retail stores with curbside pickup and delivery, manufacturing and wholesaling to name a few major industries. Restaurants and bars are still open, but they must only do pickup or delivery only. Here's St. Mark's Place, famous for its nighttime crew and nightlife. Last weekend, St. Mark's Place had hundreds of people on either side of the street. I want to see if it's the same this weekend. New York City will officially enter phase two of the reopening on Monday. All right, so not that crowded right now. Maybe it'll change later on, but I don't know. But this street is famous for the start of the punk scene, as well as um, the album cover of Physical Graffiti, Led Zeppelin. Pretty quiet right now on St. Mark's Place. I don't really see too much activity. All of these restaurants, they have opened up, I see. One of the restaurants there even has a table. Although outdoor dining is not permitted until Monday at least. I really doubt that the outdoor dining um, allowance will work for many of these restaurants because some of these sidewalks are very narrow. It's going to be very challenging for people to walk around the tables and the chairs and people aren't allowed to dine inside. But right now, St. Mark's Place doesn't seem too, too lively right now. Ben and Jerry's ice cream is closed, as well as boarded up. Grim to see it like this. Here's 886 Restaurant. After this, I'll make a left onto 2nd Avenue. Two Bros Pizza is open, dollar slice, available. Kyber Pass is closed. Ramen Sedegaya is open. All the piers, four bucks. Good advertisement there in the front. I don't know how the um, foot traffic will be here later. I'm gonna go here on 2nd Ave. Looks like this car doesn't know whether to go or not. behind that car I had to honk their horn a few times just to let that car know it's green light hey move it people not paying attention to the green light all 
All right, so here's a store for lease. Retail for lease. And the Verizon store. They even drew on the boards here. Also, interesting, they have plywood removal services advertised on the boards now. I guess that's going to be in demand, right? The plywood removal people. But basically, these notes are mentioning the other store, as well as some other words of protest. Here's the New York Library building. This also used to be a library. Just look at the lettering. Free Bibliothek. Les Hall. That's German. This area used to be known as Little Germany. Oh, look at this. There's even a sign here. Designated Landmark. The Adendorfer branch, the first building in Manhattan to be erected specifically as a free public lending library. You can also see the different faces up here, different designs. Very interesting, very cool. There's some restaurants now with outdoor dining. The restaurants set them out anyway. Then again, I don't really see anybody enforcing the requirements that you can't outdoor dine yet. So I guess it's not as strict. We're only three days away from the phase two <laughs> reopening. Take a look at this place, Kingston Hall, ice cold coconut, $8, and drunken coconut is also 8 bucks. 16 handles, yogurt place is open, Thirsty Scholar Pub, love the smiley face, also same plywood removal advertisement in front of that store. Then again, I would think that if you were to hire the same people who put the plywood on your store to take it off, wouldn't that mean you'll get a better rate? But I don't know. You can always remove the plywood yourself. Just get some smashing tools and start ripping up the boards, I guess. Here's St. Mark's in the Bowery Church. Very old church in this part of Manhattan. Wow, there's a lot of people there across the street. Let me check that out. Numero 28 Pizza. They also got the outdoor tables set up. I am seeing more people coming out though, so I guess this is the, uh, the time when people do it. People out here crowding out, having a good time, socializing. This is a taste of what's going to come on Monday all around the city. Interesting, folks. Some places have opened up their outdoor dining early. Tompkins Square Bagels.
takeout and delivery for this ramen restaurant. This is Strings. These beauty spas will not open until at least phase three. That's when they're legally able to open up again. Phase two of the reopening of New York City will include the hair salons, barber shops, and outdoor dining. I know many people are very excited for the opening of the hair salons again. Another spot across the street, Jack Daw. Bit of a crowd outside there. I think I'll walk over to 14th Street now. Here's 14th Street. Be sure to watch out for bicycles going the wrong way. I don't expect 14th Street to be too busy right now. A lot of stores here are still closed. T.O.P.O. is coming soon. Here's a nail salon closed. Mexican food store closed. Doesn't seem to be too much nightlife here on 14th Street. Bauhaus closed. Interesting name though. A lot of closed stops one after the other here. VV Bubble Tea is open though. So if you want a bubble tea, you can go in there. They have plastic on the countertop to stop the employees from getting in contact with the customers. And Kent's Dumpling House is open. The same setup there. I see some plastic over the area where the Employees handle with the customers. Here's City MD Urgent Care. That urgent care facility closed at 5 p.m.
I like someone added an extra subway symbol to this station, Third Avenue Station. L with a gray heart. That's not an actual subway line. The only one here is the L with the circle. Here's Third Avenue. Trader Joe's is at the beginning of the next block. Let's see if Trader Joe's is busy now. Wow, Joe's Pizza has got a little bit of a crowd outside. Good to see some pizza shops having some customers out here. They've also got some outdoor tables available. Here's the 14th Street Trader Joe's store. They've got plastic at every register to separate people from the customers. Also a man outside to enforce social distancing uh, guidelines within the store. But it doesn't seem to be too crowded inside that Trader Joe's right now. What is, what does have a lot of people waiting in line for is the wine shop the Trader Joe's wine shop. And they require a secure face covering in order to go into the wine shop. Hi. Hey. 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 How are you? Oh, <laughs> You're getting some wine? We're getting some wine. All right. A lot of it. Bottle of wine. All right. Take care. I'm excited for Monday, phase two. All right. So they got some scaffold in here. Scaffolding is the number one architectural style in New York City. You won't get any lack of scaffolding in New York City. Let me cross the street. Alright, I've reached 14th Street Union Square. We'll see what's here on 14th Street Union Square. There's some gates here in front of Food Emporium, I guess. There's three main supermarkets in the area, Trader, Trader Joe's, Food Emporium, and the Whole Foods Market.
I see Best Buy is in the process of removing their plywood. That's good to see. The plywood was up ever since a few weeks ago due to the civil unrest happening within the city. Some opportunistic criminals under the guise of the George Floyd protests thought it would be a good move to go and loot some stores and get some free stuff. Sounds like there's a Black Lives Matter speech happening in the middle of Union Square. And this person is a very inspirational speaker. And have a conversation. Not screaming, not bitter, not angry. Have a conversation as to how more diversity could take place so that black people can rise out of poverty and live as excellent citizens in this great land of America like we've been promised from the time that We've been here after slavery in the forming of this country. That's what we're asking for. Are we asking for much? I want to be able to job and not have a country pulling beside me wondering, am I a criminal? Because I'm right. All right, folks, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoy this walkthrough of St. Mark's Place, Union Square, 3rd Avenue and 14th Street. Be sure to like this video down below. Subscribe for some more adventures. And I'll see you next time, folks. Actually, I think I'll walk past this Black Lives Matter group before ending the video. They just happen to be in here right now just as I started to end it. I admire these protesters resolved to get out here in the street and fight for what they believe in.